You know what? This is like my third take right now. I'm trying to figure out what right things to say. I'm trying to keep it uh, uh, a minimum. 11 minutes is good enough for me to talk about Monday Night Raw. And some other things. Let's talk about some other things. I have to restart my PS4. The software update fucked me up bad to a point I have to restart everything and pull up Matt Hardy and control all deletes everything on my PS4. So I have to do everything over again. Now leave me in the comments, should I do the Xenoverse story again or just leave it be and don't even bother and just get Xenoverse 2 later on in the week? I'm not getting it tomorrow. Get it later on in the week, you know. Actually, I'm going to put a voting poll right now. Right now. Look. You see the little eye shit, right? The little eye thing. The little eye thingy in the corner. Click that and there will be a voting poll saying, saying, what games do you want me to get? Right, you choose those games, and then the winning game by Friday, Friday morning, the second I see the winning game, I will buy the game immediately. And after download it, and after do a gameplay right then, I don't care what happens, it will happen. Simple as that. Anyways, let's get to Raw. But before, actually, no, before we get to Raw, there's something happened on Twitter yesterday with me and some fucking. Stupid fool. I'm on Twitter. I see Vince McMahon tweeting about Sasha and Charlotte being in Hell in the Cell. So I'm like, okay. I tweeted out this to Vince saying, quote, I love the fact that Charlotte and Sasha are, or I, I put the women, yeah. I love the fact that the women are inside hashtag HIAC, Hell in a Cell. But I just don't care. I don't care. Right? This guy replied saying, uh, retorted to my statement saying, you don't care about women's wrestling. I'm a whiny little bitch. Um, my opinion is ridiculous. What? I tweeted that to Vince. I tweeted out in general. I'm not here to argue with anyone. You have your opinion, you have your beliefs, that's good for you. But I don't give a fuck about your opinion, and I don't give a fuck about your belief. It doesn't matter to me, right? I'm not gonna sit here and say your opinion is the, is none and void, one none and void whatsoever, all right? I'm not saying that. I'm saying, look, I don't care that they're in the hell in the cell. This story sucks. I stopped caring since July 25th. And this fucking guy says, I'm sexist, um, the women, oh, uh, I'm sad, or oh, I'm afraid that the women are overpowering me, or, or being more power, or having more power than me, or being better than me, or better than the men, and, what? What? Really now? Really now? I'm just gonna go on a little rant here. I am not sexist. I believe in equality for everyone Everything, every little shit that's created on this fucking planet. Everything is equal to me. From race to sex, everything. If I, sh if I'm, if I had a gun and I shot one dude, I will shoot one woman as fucking equal. I'm not treating nobody special. If I slap a dog, I'll slap a cat. Equal. Nothing will will be not equal to me, all right? Simple as that. So, the women being in this Hell in the Cell match, just like the dudes, I love it. I've been, pre you guys know I've been preaching this for weeks now. The women need to get frisky and do something a little bit dangerous to a point where we can take them more seriously. But like, oh shit. All right, you know. These girls can literally fuck us up at any time they please. You know? Instead of me sitting there watching six-pack, fatal four-way, one-on-one, triple threat matches, I need some barbaric type shit with the women. Alright? That's what I'm asking for. But that fucking idiot, I'm glad I blocked him and muted him. Everything. Blocking mutes. Cause seriously, uh, he fucking deserves. He's a fucking idiot. I don't know why he would he would assume such a thing. I don't know why. He looks like a fucking f 
fatter than me fucking iced tea. All right, so just getting that out there. Now we can get to Raw after five minutes. Jesus. Um, let's see. Sasha and Charlotte, cringeworthy. But Mick Foley with his promo. Mick Foley's promo about Hell in the Cell. I love it so much. It make me realize that Foley is still there. Foley's still there. Even though he's a corporate fuck, he's still there. That Foley that we all know that's passionate is still there. Everything I had about Foley for the past couple of days, you know, about, you know, how he used to be like us. Be be freaking pissed off that Daniel Bryan is not getting the chance that he deserves, right? Smashing his fucking TV. And now turn into a corporate suck up that has his own crappy reality show. So, my thoughts on McFoley for that moment, that instant, went away. But, it's still there. I still think he's all that what I just said. Um, Brock and Paul Heyman. I, I want to hear Brock T. I, I, I want to hear Brock talk. I don't want to hear Paul Heyman talk anymore. Paul Heyman, to me, is the same boring shit. Yes, he is good. At times, I mean, when I'm in the mood for it, I, tonight I was not in the mood for it. When I'm in the mood for I feel the I feel the promo. I feel what Paul Heyman's saying. I understand it. You know, tonight I'm just sitting there like, ah, here we go again. Yeah, my client Brock Lesnar, blah, 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 suplex city, blah, 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 blah. You know what? If I can go back to 2015 last year. And go to WrestleMania. If I had a time machine, I would stop Brock Lesnar from saying the words Suplex City, bitch. Because if he didn't say that, Suplex City would be fucking born now. It would be a marketing gimmick right now. Suplex City is nothing more than a marketing gimmick, and I'm sick of it, man. The the t-shirts are fine. I can take I can I can handle that. But in a match, just suplex? Come on, Brock. I get it. You're UFC type fighter now. Yeah, that's your character. You just don't give a fuck. And then you're there to do matches. You, you don't care if you repeat the same move over and over and over again. And then hit your finisher. And then get a pinfall. And then and then walk out. I get it. But come on, man. If you don't care about WWE, just leave. I don't. I don't want you there if you don't care. Just leave. I don't care anymore. If you're not gonna entertain me, just leave. That's all I gotta say about Brock. Uh, Sa- uh Sami Zayn and Strowman. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care. New Day comes out. They need to lose the fucking tag titles. I'm gonna keep saying it until they do. They need to lose the tag titles. Let Cesaro and fucking Sheamus win. I don't care. Let them win. And let the New Day perish. I don't care. Let the New Day fucking turn heel or die. It's either die, new day, die, or turn, new day, heal. It's either one. I never thought I'd be saying this right now, but I'm tired of this new day bandwagon I've been riding on. All right? I'm sick of this shit. Like, honestly. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. When the new day first came around came around in 2014, uh, uh, right, on SmackDown, I'm like, is this what Kofi Kingston resulted to, re, re, like, like turned into now? Is this what Big E turned into now? Xavier Woods, the fuck, right? They came in, they had a great match with Cesaro and and uh, Tyson Kidd and Adam Rules on main event. I'll give them that. I still remember that match. That match was so good. Also, they had a great match with the pre-show at the Royal Rumble last year, the worst Royal Rumble pay per view I've ever seen. Um, and uh, yeah, just. They need to lose. Unless they turn heel, they they need to they need to lose and quit. Simple as that. Rollins, Jericho, all want Stephanie. Stephanie needs to get off my fucking screen. I'm not gonna say laptop or TV. Just, it, it, screen. Get off my screen. Simple as that. I'm tired of hearing your fucking music. I'm tired of seeing you. If you go away for years and you come back, I still wouldn't care. I still wouldn't care. Like I care for Shane. Shane, the last time I saw him getting his ankle sh- fucking shattered with steel steps by Legacy. 
on May 2009. And then he comes back. I lost my mind. You guys saw my reaction. I lost my mind. I'm marked out. And, and, I, and, I, and I loved every second of it. Stephanie needs to go for good. I'm sick of this shit. Foley. Eh. What? Eh. So, uh, Rollins had the list, uh, uh, Jericho comes out, I enjoyed the segment, but I'm just like, I'm just not in the mood right now. Uh, and then Rollins beat Jericho and oh, went to the main event with a double roll-up. Wow. Not one of them could have kicked out. Both of them had to take the pinfall. So, Rollins pinned the Universal Champion in the main event on Monday Night Raw. Wow. So what do you guys think about Monday Night Raw? Like I said, vote I the I shit the I shit. Go click that and vote for the game uh, that you want on Friday. And um, yeah, what do you guys think about Monday Night Raw? Leave your comments down below. Click the like button, subscribe now for more fundamental at Boy on 3D Gym. Thank you for watching, and I am out. Monday Night Raw suck balls. You'll get a SmackDown review tomorrow, hopefully. And I am out. Oh, later.